Drew. And welcome back to another episode of Fulton, yo. Where we give you the news, hot off the prints. Drew, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is easily Back to the Future. Oh, really? I've never seen it. Are you kidding me? No, I've never seen it. Well, in that case, let's take a trip back to the past. Let's do it. Changed throughout all these years in baseball, though. Bulldogs baseball kicks off March 18th at home at 5:30. Speaking of baseball, who's your favorite player? David Ortiz. Didn't he get that name from like something to do something like Spanish? Yeah, he got it from a Spanish competition. And speaking of a Spanish competition, we just had one. Ah, right, let's take a look at it. You hear us, Nene? Alright, so last Friday we had a Spanish competition and that really allowed the students um, a time to show off all of the hands-on projects they've been working on. Um, our categories were piñatas, ojo de dios, we had artwork, and then we also had food. And um, we do all of this to explore more of the Spanish cultural aspects in the class and those hands-on projects. But um, we also do it because it helps me and everybody else figure out how we're going to take those um, projects and take them over to Dyersburg for their huge Spanish fair that they have there. Um, they do a really huge fair and people from all over schools come. They, last year they had like 300 to 500 kids. So it's really huge and we take our first, second, and third place winners and a few alternates and they get to go and compete over there and it's just really fun and a really great way to explore the other side of the Spanish class. Bro, it's something else that we have missed. What is that? Black History Month. Man, I totally forgot. Don't worry, Jasmine came in clutch and she made an entire package about it. Jasmine actually made a package? But, yeah, I know. Man, let's take a look. Y'all see that? Yeah. I'm gonna be the masterpiece behind this beautiful production product I made. <laughs> What inspired y'all to dress up as the person you did? I dressed up as Michelle Obama because she's very inspiring. And I dressed up as Beyonce because she paved the way for a lot of black um, actresses, singers, and entertainers. What inspired you to create this board? Well, there wasn't really anything that inspired me. I was just talking to Miss Barnes one day, and she was telling me about they were doing this museum for Black History Month. And I originally was just supposed to do this one because I've seen it on Facebook. And, you know, as I was doing this one over here, I was thinking to myself, you know, hmm, Martin had a dream that one day little black boys and little black girls could hold hands with little white girls and little black boys. So I was like, I should try to incorporate that with something. And for some reason, I always do projects with pictures. So this is a great way to incorporate it. You know, I had people send me some pictures, and some pictures I got off the Instagram. You know, I mean, we have that permission, but we're going to sell them. It's okay, because they don't care. They've seen it. We have, this is like one of my favorite Bro, you never finished telling me about Back to the Future. You were serious about never seeing it? Yeah, I was dead serious. Well, good thing Kate is here to educate everybody on Back to the Future. Let's take a look at it. I'm here with Kyrie. I'm here with Sierra. Jamala. Katayan. Where house you from? Valley. Allegiant. 
What house you from? Quantum. What? Quantum. Oh, I thought you said Quantum. Commando. Okay, I gotta ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. What is the name of Marty's parents? George and Lorraine. George and Lorraine. Look at you. I know the mom was uh, Lorraine. And the dad was uh, Marty. Okay, what are the name of Marty's parents? Mick There you go. Last name. Mick Flaw. This is Marty's last name. I didn't watch the movie, but I don't really pay attention to the movie. Marty! What is the name of the time machine? Back to the beach. <laughs> Time machine, I don't know. What is the name of the time machine? The way back. What is the name of the time machine? <laughs> time machine. In the second movie, what year did they travel to in the future? 2016. 2015. Lucky key. In the second movie, what year did they travel to like, in the future? How many kids did George and Lorraine have? Four. No, just two. 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 Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. Two. Bro, that's crazy. I might have to go check that out. There's no question about it. You have to. <laughs> Drew, I have a question. What's up? If you could live in any decade, which one would you live in? I'd probably choose the 80s. I don't even know why, though. But I'd probably do it. What about you? I probably want to stay in the right now. When we set out on an adventure to see what the teachers and staff had to say about what decade they want to live in. Let's take a look at it. Here's the question of the day. If you could go back and live in any decade, what would it be? Question of the day. All right, go ahead and ask the question of the day. If you could go back and live in any decade, okay. what would it be? Uh, the decade I would like to go back to would probably be the seventies. And the reason I say the seventies is because first I was born there. Second, disco. Third, fashion. Can't beat the seventies, baby. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Kassman. Hey. I have a question of the day for you. Alright, what's it? If you could go back in any decade and live there, which one would it be? Decade. Um, I'd say probably the 50s. It just looked like they had a good time in the 50s. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Question for the day. Okay. What's up? If you could go back and live in any decade, what would it be? The seventies. Can you explain why? Uh, no, actually the eighties. Uh, because I liked a lot of the cool uh, of the new gears and gadgets that come out in the eighties. Thank you. I have a question of the day. Okay. If you could go back and live in any decade, what would it be? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe like the 50s. How come? I, mean, I just think 
it's like, I honestly don't know a whole lot about it, but I like watching like movies that are like filmed during the 50s. Do I have a question? What? What the? If you could uh, go back in any decade and live there, what would it be? <laughs> any decade? Mm-hmm. Like ever? Mm-hmm. Probably 1610, the teens there. How come? <laughs> to see Shakespeare perform. So Zion, how do you uh you know like all the house child? I love it, man. It's a big commando band dominating it all. That big commando. We got the last house challenge on film. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> One thing that has not changed over the years are crazy girlfriends. Right. The methods have changed, but the girlfriends have remained the same. Our friend Nash went through this. Let's see how he dealt with it. What up, bro? What up, dog? See your little girlfriend around? Hey, baby. Good luck with that, fam. How many times I tell you, you're not my baby? Why do you keep fighting it? I'm not fighting it. But if you keep calling me baby, I'm gonna go fight you. One day you'll be my man. Yeah. Dude, Shanice is really having to stop at me. Bro, I told you not to mess with her. You know she crazy. I, yeah, I kind of already figured that out. Oh, Nash! Bro, hi, me. You better run, fam. Nash, I'll wait for you out here as long as it takes. Go on, Shanice, before I get a restraining order on you. A restraining order won't stop my love for you. Just leave me alone. I'll see you later, baby. what I get myself into? Bro, what am I going to do about this girl? Just talk to me. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll see you later. Look, Sammy, I know you like me, but I don't like you. I need you to stop. Okay, Nash, I understand. I'll stop bothering you, but I can't stop loving you. Promise. Promise. Nash, wait. What's up? Can I at least get a kiss before you go? Bye, Sammy. Well, he handled that one pretty well. Man, he did, but I would've got some strength over Honestly, I probably would have too, but that's it for this episode. Remember, be safe. Remember, it's always a good day to be a bulldog.